Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rebel Ronan here again, and in this video, this is going to be a little bit of a guide talking about Yuri's Feng Shui Engine. It's a really, really cool and really, really unique super move, but it is a little bit complicated, especially if you're new to the game or just generally don't understand how it works. It can be a little bit mysterious and you would never really go for it. So in this video, we're going to talk about how it works and how to use it so that you can use it more and it becomes less of a mysterious enigma of a move that you like never go for and you always just go for a level three. So let's just start with the startup. We're going to go over like how it works and then simple combo routes that you can use when you get it. So with the startup, when you do the move, it's down back, down back, any of your punch buttons. When you do it, she does this thing and then she bends back and then now you're in the mode. And as you can see, your super meter, super meter is depleting. There's also another way of activating it. If you hold down the punch button while you activate it, she'll do this little dash forward. And this is really useful for when you're using it in combos or in pressure, because it just puts you right beside the opponent and you're just ready to go for whatever you're gonna go for. So now let's talk about when you're actually in the mode, what's going on? So when you're in Feng Shui Engine, you can cancel your buttons into each other, as long as it's increasing order of strength. So I can cancel any of my lights into mediums into heavies, or I can cancel my lights into heavies or mediums into heavies. The only thing you can't do is say, go from a heavy kick into a light kick or into a medium kick. You can't go down the strength order, only up. But you can also do ones in the same strength. So I can do light punch, light kick, medium punch, medium kick, heavy punch, heavy kick. And I can do that all in one simple string. If I just do 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 do, that was exactly what I just said, and I just pressed the buttons all in a row, and she did all of that. So I'm hoping you can see how this is pretty crazy now already. So this is really useful for combos and pressure on block because it opens up great pressure and mix-ups, which makes it a cool way of extending combos when you don't want to spend drive meter or fuha stocks. You have this third meter that lets you extend combos in a completely different way, spending a completely different meter. So she's got a lot of ways of cashing out for different styles of combos, which I really like. So now, what do we go for when we actually get the hit? When you're using it in a combo, I suggest only using your mediums and heavies because adding in the lights will add kind of just a lot of scaling and unnecessary complexity to the combo. And I suggest, especially if you're just beginning to use it, to keep it as simple as possible. And I recommend just going for medium punch, back heavy kick, down heavy punch, and then you can jump cancel the down heavy punch into a jump medium punch, and then go for a dive kick. And putting it together on its own, it'll look like this. So medium punch, back, down, jump cancel, dive kick. Pretty easy and you can do it anywhere, even mid. So anytime you get a little hit and decide you want to go into it, you get this easy combo and it brings you straight to the corner, basically from no matter where you start the combo, which is really powerful. And we're straight into the corner on the other side and ready to go for some more crazy mix up and pressure. Now, if you do find this combo a little bit too hard because, you know, going into the back and jump canceling stuff maybe is a little bit too complicated for you, well, you can actually make it easier and it's honestly similar amounts of damage. You can just go medium punch into regular heavy kick, regular heavy punch, and then go into a DP afterwards. And use it in the exact same ways you would be before. So hold down the button and then go for these three things. And it won't be as much corner carry, but it's still a good knockdown because we use our heavy DP as a knockdown most of the time anyways. So that's another good option. If you are close to the corner though, you can actually make the combos even longer and actually kind of simpler because you can go for anything into the regular heavy kick and from the heavy kick, it will launch the opponent in the air and you'll be close enough to go for your crouching heavy punch where you normally wouldn't be able to. So you can just do anything into those two buttons, and you also get more aerial buttons as well. So I can go do, do, and I can go heavy um, jump medium punch, jump heavy punch, jump heavy kick, and it'll all link. And as you can see, it's starting to do even more damage. And also, I haven't seen many people doing this, but you can use it after your heavy fuha kick. And you can get very similar combos and it's a really cool way of extending your combo instead of just ending with a dp you can end in a whole feng shui engine combo and it's really cool and now that you've ended a combo using the feng shui engine as a combo ender you still have about two thirds of the time left in your feng shui so what do you do then 
the answer is you can go for more combos. Once you're in the Feng Shui engine, you can go for the exact same combo routes you were using to end your combo, but it'll do more damage because it's not at the end of a combo. And now because you're in Feng Shui engine, you can even get these combos off of great buttons like your standing light kick, which normally doesn't go into anything and it's just a great poke. But now that we're in Feng Shui engine, we can get really good stuff. So just do standing light kick into forwards, medium punch, and then you'll get closer and then you can go for the exact same combo route. You can even add in a medium kick if you like. So yeah, the combos are cool, but it's also really cool if your opponent is blocking after you land the first combo, because your mix and pressure is pretty insane. So even if you don't go for mix, the amount of buttons you can do is insane, because you can link all together everything, including your multi-hitting buttons like this. But of course, we can also go into overhead low mix, because our forward medium kick and down medium kick are overheads and lows, and they can be cancelled just the same. So in this simple sequence, I can go into an overhead or a low and they doesn't have to end with the overhead. If they do block the overhead, you can keep the pressure going even after the overhead. So even if they guess right, they don't get any reward because they're still blocking all of your pressure and stuff. And the same goes, of course, for the low. Now, unfortunately, if they do get hit by the overhead, they will just be splattered down on the floor. And even if you extend the things, you won't get any combo afterwards. But if you do expect them to get hit by the overhead, you can use it as a perfect opportunity to build up a Fuha stock, because you can cancel it into a Fuha kick and you're still left plus right in their face. But if they do get hit by the low option, well, you do just get to extend your combo like nothing happened. And you get a lovely, simple combo using the exact same routes we've been doing the whole time. <clears throat> And if you want to reset into a throw, unfortunately, Yuri doesn't have too many plus on block normal, so if you just do a whole sequence, you'll be left like minus three or minus four, so it's not too great for strike throw. The two things that you can end your links with if you want to reset for um, like throw mix-ups, if you think the opponent is blocking the high-low somehow, you can either end with a light kick and walk up for a throw, or you can go light kick, um, crouching medium kick, standing medium punch, and then you're left at plus two and you've got your plus frames. And this also points me to the fact that you don't always have to constantly be chaining and like every time you press a button you go do 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 do. You can still play the regular way, like you can press standing medium punch and use the plus frames on that. But the thing is, you can use it and then if you see that they get hit, instead of having to go into like into this simple route, you can do even more. Let's go into build back. You can go do you can just chain a lot more. So you can go for this um, standing medium punch into standing light kick and then go back into the forwards medium punch. And so you get to use a medium punch twice in the combo because it's not counted in the link. And that's just really, really good. And you can just do this as much and much as much as you like. And you can really, really mash on your plus frames with this because anytime you get a hit, you get a super easy confirm into a combo. And yeah, that's the Feng Shui engine. I don't know if I forgot to mention, but when you use it in block strings, it doesn't actually have a gap, even if you go for the, the follow-up version. So you can really just use this as a proper pressure tool and then enforce your mix afterwards. Use your lows, overheads, or just use your um, plus frames, go for throws. You're really a monster. And the only thing that is a little bit uh, not good about it is that it is really difficult and you have to do a lot of inputs really quickly. So I do suggest you go in the lab and figure out what what the inputs are to go for these mix-ups. Even though the inputs are obvious, doing them so quickly, you want to make them kind of muscle memory or else you might just flail around on the spot and you may have seen me accidentally drop combos like accidentally going for a sweep, which is something you don't really want to go for because for some reason, unlike some other things, it doesn't cancel, I don't think. Oh no, it does. So, flail all you like, I suppose. <laughs> Anyways, that's a little guide for Jury's Feng Shui engine. I think it's a really cool mechanic, and I understand that a lot of people find it a little bit intimidating, but I think if you lab it a little bit in training mode, you'll realize you're missing out if you don't go for it at all, especially when you can use it in like simple situations like this, 
and just use it after any combo, it is so satisfying and so fun. And yeah, I hope this guide helped you understand the super a little bit more. I hope you try it out more because it's so fun. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in whatever's next. Bye-bye.